sucks. Oh, damn it. It looks better right now. What the hell? Twelve nineteen in the morning. My baby's with her grandma. She doesn't want to sleep with me. She wants to sleep with her grandma. Um, her daddy is in the living room and sleeping over there because we had a fight yesterday and he moved the fan over there and was too lazy to move it back over here. So we decided to sleep over there again. So I'm by myself here in the room. Bored as hell. Not sleepy at all. Just here in my thoughts, wondering, seeing all this paranoia of this coronavirus shit on Facebook and not being able to say anything about it because I'm banned. So, I'm just going to talk about it here for a bit, because, I don't know, I just want to talk about it. I feel like everyone's getting all crazy right now, and it's it's a bit ironic, because I kind of felt like a few years ago when I moved back over here to Texas, that something like this would happen soon. Well, actually, I thought it would happen years ago like when I came back I thought it was gonna happen around that time but but it didn't and people just you know kept going along their lives and whatnot so I did too but I never really got it out of my head that something like this might happen I always kind of expected it so I'm not as scared as everybody else right now. Actually, I'm kind of... It's kind of, um... It's like a meme one of my friends posted that I saw. Something about... You realize how isolated you, you've been when a world pandemic happens and you literally have to make, like, zero to, like, few changes in your life. And, like, that's pretty much me. Because, like, I'm not really doing anything different than what I, what I have been for the past five years since I came back trying to wake people up. Wake the fuck up, people. Wake up. Your government's fucking you. And now they're getting us into martial law and shit, so that's cool. I don't even care, like, honestly, like, it goes to that, like, People are talking, now people are talking about getting their ammo and shit. All these fucking people that were so making fun of doomsdayers and doomsday preppers and conspiracy theorists. And all these people are out there fucking buying all the groceries and all the fucking toilet paper and all the water and all the fucking ammo stocking up. Because shit's got real for them. And now they're scared. It's fucking hilarious. I think it's hilarious. Not the fact that there's people dying from this shit. I mean, death is never hilarious. Not in this case, not in the case of the flu or the fucking wars. The pointless fucking wars where they're sent off to be killed or to kill. That's even less... I don't like joking about that for shit. Because it's upsetting. Anyways, well... Yeah, I just... Um, wanted to make a post and say... Uh, you know, don't be scared. Don't... Freak out. Just... Live in the moment. You know, live... Day by day live um without any concerns because 
I, I expected you to. I, I thought she was going to sleep with me. She wanted to sleep with me. Mm. I know. She hates me. <laughs> yep. Yeah, sure. So. No, he doesn't want to move his fan over here, so he's going to stay over there. <laughs> you can't sleep without the fan. Anyways, um, yeah, just live in the moment. Don't, don't think about you know a week or a month or two from now. I mean, there's really not any reason for that. Everything will work itself out. I mean, if you're gonna be you know, getting that paranoid to where you're starting to, like, really fucking feel fear, like, real fear about the future and, you know, what if we run out of food? What if we run out of water? What if this, that? You know, just just go do things where you, you'll live off the grid, a lifestyle. Just plant your own food, your vegetables, get, you know, um... Fruit trees, vegetable gardens. Um, get get some chickens if you want to for eggs. Get goats or sheep or fucking you know whatever cows. Just you know prepare for that old fashioned lifestyle. It's not really that scary. I mean that's actually a pretty a pretty cool lifestyle to live because you don't have to worry about, you know, the stresses of other, you know, every... It's raining? Cool. You don't have to worry about the stresses of everyday, you know, work life and all of that. That drama that comes around with it, you know, you get to create your own story every day and live your, your life peacefully, you know, and... Maybe that's how it's meant to be. I mean, I don't know how accurate these things are, but supposedly people have been saying that I've seen also my the other side of my Facebook friends, the ones that are that have been expecting something like this for a while now as well. They've been saying that the earth is healing itself at this time since humans are not out there polluting it every day as much as we used to since we're all basically quarantined and just staying at home and you know not out there just being our our inconsiderate selves well so to speak we're um supposedly seeing the world getting back you know to its natural state where you know places are getting more um inhabited with with wildlife that hadn't you know been there before or that or that hadn't been there for a while places that have been polluted are clearing up and you know so that there is some good coming out of all of this apparently from what i've read i again i haven't looked into it but it sounds i mean it doesn't sound unbelievable it sounds pretty believable so so yeah don't freak out i mean as long as you have food you know, for today, tomorrow, the next day, you're good. Like, you'll, well, we're still having, you know, people going to work and making products and shit like that. You know, or there's still food being produced out there that's going to the shelves. It's just getting pulled off the shelf a lot quicker than usual because of the fact that people are stocking up. They're all pre doomsday prepping pretty much. So. That's why the shelves are looking empty, but it doesn't mean that they're not going to be filled again or, you know, we're not going to have more food again. So, yeah. And then there's places where you can get water, too. I mean, the, there's a place, if you're in Laredo, in Texas, there's a place called the Water Tree. And they basically get the water from the actual, you know, water sources here tap water or whatever and they filter it there in their their building so you know as we can filter our tap water too if we have to it's not something to fucking 
get all bent out of shape over and scared. Don't get scared. Like, that's the one thing that you got to do is just stay calm about it. Don't freak out. Freaking out is just going to cause panic and chaos. And that's when things get fucked. And that's probably honestly what the government wants. What the people that have created this mess. And yes, I do believe. I don't give a damn what any one of you fucking people think out there about me. I really don't for thinking this. But I do think this virus has been created, manufactured and created and put out there for a reason. Like, purposefully by the governments and or the people behind the governments to pull the strings. So, I'm not, you know, yeah, I'm not going to apologize for that thought. I mean, if you know enough about our government and how fucked up they are, then it's not, it shouldn't be a surprise to you at all that they would do something like this. But anyways, alright, I'm gonna stop rambling now. I'm gonna try and see if I could go to sleep. Ugh. I don't know. Anyways, good night and uh, sleep tight and enjoy this time off. Alright, just see it as a little vacation, a little holiday. And don't fucking freak out.